image mask within the illustration of the tram. Now we're just going to go over to our layer. Now here we have each element has been already been pasted into its own layer. We've got the outline of the tram. We've got the glass that they we cannot cover because that's what the tram driver used to view from. Uh, we've got other glass here, and this is a this actual image goes underneath that, and that's why it's above the actual image mask. We've got a, a, pal a layer for our text. We've actually got the actual mask itself on a separate layer and the wheels and bumpers. Separating all these different elements makes your life a lot easier. So I'm just going to click into the image mask and if I use my uh, selection tool as you can see if I get rid of all the other layers I already have a, a placeholder image in place and it's already masked. So all I need to do is I'll just click all the other elements back on that's selected I go to the links palette and there is the link. I'm going to relink. I have an image here, which I've already, which I want to use. I'm going to place, and there it is. And because you're just replacing the images that was already masked, it will actually just mask the new image. I hold down the shift button so I can scale it proportionally, and there's my image. Now, if I want to move the image around, I just go into the group selection tool, select the image and I can move it wherever I want to. And obviously if I move it that way or that way I'm on the outside boundaries of the image. So about there should be just fine. Select off, go back into my layer palette and this time what I'm going to do is actually going to place some text in it. If I grab the text tool I'm just going to type in some text. We're going to make it white. Oops, there's no white there again. Here we go. White makes it a lot easier. And we're just going to select a font. And we'll use that one there. And we might make it round about. That will do. Pasta. And that's how you edit the image mask for your tram 